Hello everyone, this is Anushka Upasad, faculty at Internet Marketing School and today we will discuss about what is digital marketing. One thing is really important for us to understand that digital marketing at this current situation is everything. We have seen many traditional businesses or a physical store bringing their businesses online, such as creating website, uh, bringing people to your Facebook business pages, Instagram business pages. All the social media platforms have turned out to be a marketplace. You can reach out to people very easily with a single click. If we discuss about the advantages of digital marketing between the traditional marketing and a digital marketing, suppose, Let's have an example. Suppose uh, we have a traditional store where on a day-to-day -day basis, we are just entertaining 60 to 70 people. Now, in the other hand, we have created a business page, suppose on social media, suppose on social media, as well as on website, right? So now what I'm doing, I'm sharing a link or I'm posting something every day on my market platform with just a click and I'm reaching out to n numbers of people like more than 3,000, 4,000 lakhs depends on to how uh, actively I'm performing with my website and how actively I'm working with Facebook or Instagram or whichever social media platform is suitable for my business. Right. So today, let's discuss about how digital marketing is actually changing our business lifestyle and bringing us a lot and lot of success. OK, so there are some six points we will be discussing. Let's go. So when we talk digital marketing right now, as I told you, what is digital marketing? When you do marketing online, you use digital devices like computers, tablets, mobile phones, and it is known as digital marketing, where you display yourself, make a visibility of yourself on an online platform where anybody can access from anywhere. You just need a network, you just need a device, and a very handy device you can keep on posting from anywhere. You can work from home, you can work from office, or any point of the world, right? And even your customer can see your online shop or your online services portal from anywhere. They can be anywhere. There just has to be a good network connection, right? What is the most important part of digital marketing is like when we follow through all of these. We do email marketing, we do content marketing, we do social media marketing, pay-per-click is equal to Google Ads, search engine optimization, where we are taking the help of SEO to bring our website always on top. So what are these platforms doing? These platforms are actually marking the visibility of my brand. That is point one. So how to mark a visibility of your brand whenever you are trying to make people understand that you have a business online, you need to have an appearance online, right? And what are those appearance? You design a website, you open a social media platform, suppose on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Quora Marketing, from wherever a person can know and have a knowledge about your brand, services, products as well as they can access to your page and everything goes on an online medium. Wo kahi se bhi aapke products ko kharid bhi sakte agar aap ek e-commerce page chala rahe ho. Let me give you an example like Amazon and Mintra. So we can access to Amazon and Mintra through, through their application mm -hmm. or we can just get into Google and search about www.amazon.com or .in and we will get to see their online portal and we will get to see what are the products and services they are offering to me. If I want to purchase those products and services, I go to take an engagement, like I go to buy now button, I click and I purchase it. So how do we get the visibility even after having a, a website or a social media platform? That is where we will be working on search engine optimization. So let me show you first the six points which we are talking. Visibility, bringing the right target traffic, engagement, conversion, measurement, and retention. As I was talking about visibility right now, I was telling you about website designing and opening your business page online. So let me show you how you can do your website designing. When we will be learning website designing, we will be doing the session to WordPress. 
If WordPress is equals to CMS. Now, what is CMS? CMS means Content Management System. वो एक ऐसा पोर्टल है जो हमें हेल्प करता है हमारी वेबसाइट को डिजाइन करने में आप कैसा भी वेबसाइट डिजाइन कर सकते हो वो एक वन पेज वेबसाइट हो सकता है वो मल्टीपल पेज वेबसाइट हो सकता है वन पेज में भी आप अपनी प्रोडक्शन सर्विसेज के बारे में इंफॉर्मेशन दे सकते हो एज यू कैन सी एंड इन मल्टीपल पेज पीपल विल क्लिक ऑन टू द डिफरेंट पेजेस ऑफ योर वेबसाइट एंड दे कैन गेट टू नो अबाउट योर सेल्फ राइट एंड इवन दे कैन टेक एक्शन फ्रॉम योर सपोज एक्शन क्या हो गया आई एम फिलिंग अप दिस फॉर्म दिस फॉर्म इज कॉल्ड एज एंगेजमेंट इन एस प्रोसीजर वेन वी मार्क Visibility, जब हम सर्च इंजिन ऑप्टिमाइजेशन करते हैं सपोज किसी ने हमारे बारे में गूगल पे सर्च किया है डिजिटल मार्केटिंग इन सपोज आई एम सर्चिंग कोलकाता ओके सो एज यू कैन सी दर सो मेनी नेम्स कमिंग अप सो हाउ इज दैट पॉसिबल हाउ सर्च इंजिन इज गेटिंग द नेम ऑन द लिस्ट दिस पेज इज कॉल्ड एज search engine result page why search engine is important first because search engine is responsible to give ranking to our websites or any visibility online right so google is a search engine yahoo byte bing this all are search engine and it is responsible to give us all the necessary information related to the word we choose to uh, search Suppose I have written digital marketing in Kolkata. ये हमारे लिए एक normal English language words है, एक normal English words है. But search engine के लिए ये key word है. जो भी हम search engine को search करने के लिए बोलेंगे और जो भी word हम उनको देते हैं on the search bar, they are responsible to fetch me the best results responsible. Search engine will never compromise on to the quality of the page, which gives us an idea that my website should be a very responsive website jab hum active hote hain hamari website kaam karti hai hum jo facebook pe kuch na kuch post karte rehte hain when we are always connected to the digital world even search engines know or even they suggest our pages to our potential customer so we will be learning the techniques of inbound marketing what is inbound marketing in inbound marketing we try to present ourselves try to attract the customer by telling them the benefits of using the product and services we provide we don't force people because we know when we force people to do something we can get blocked so this is our digital disadvantage so we will be learning how we can bring in the right people we will bring in the targeted Uh, or i should say the targeted audiences on our pages by marking the best visibility score where we will be understanding about keywords how to present ourselves what should be the right term as you know i've just written here digital marketing in kolkata or let's let's search more easy by choose online india so as you can see i have given the word by choose online as i have given the word why she is online we are getting to see so many links and you can see mintra is on top liberty shoes online is on the ranking zone amazon is holding top 3 position pata is holding top 4 position so how is that possible because they are using the correct keyword to showcase their page right because they are showing what customer search for they are writing the words they are they do the keyword research so strongly and presented it so strongly on their snippet is a snippet bola jata hai the blue line which you can see here it is called as meta title the description related to the meta title is called as meta description where you can find the url of the website and a little word a little extra information is called as plug right so i got an understanding that this page is related to shoes so when i clicked and went inside that portion they are giving me every information related to shoes so this is how responsive a website should be whatever my customer searches for it should mark the relevancy and if a customer takes an engagement like i'm getting into their website i'm clicking on to this picture i'm understanding the description whatever description they have given like you remember right now i told you like whatever we present on our content customer will trust that 
Why? Because like you and me, we are in a face-to-face -face conversation, correct? But when we present it on a digital platform, sometimes we can't get the personal assistance. So how to solve that problem? Whenever you try to put your content online, you try to give certain amount of description related to your product. You give a good quality picture, you give a good quality write-up, you give them all the information possible, you mark the transparency of a business and your product and services, and this is how they gain the trust, right? So even if, even if we are not getting any personal assistance, we still go and buy the product. Why? Because we have already taken the services. We have gone through the review section. So whichever website or whichever product is always getting good reviews, it means they are having a very good ORM. Now, what is ORM? It is called as online reputation management. So when you give a good services and your digital presence is working at success, the reviews are always good. And this is how we need to mark ORM. Because when we mark ORM, when people can see the review of our brand is good, they always stay connected up uh, to our brand. And it is so easy to have customers trust with us. And this is how we can retain our customer for a longer period of time. So how will you design your WordPress? So see, this is your WordPress dashboard. So when you will be designing your website, this is the way you will come to your WordPress dashboard. Suppose I want to create a page. So after coming into WordPress dashboard, I'll click on to page. I'll click on to add new. When I click on to add new, a page will open. And in that page, it will give me an opportunity to design my page. Let's see. So this is how a page is appearing. Suppose I have to write a title, uh, digital marketing. Suppose I'm going to make a page on digital marketing where I'll tell them or give them all the information related to it. While designing our CMS, we'll use DB, one of the world's third best layout or a theme builder, which will help us to design our website in a very smooth way. And the presentation is also strong and very beautiful, right? So we can use DB Builder. Then we will click on to publish, publish. Now it is giving me an opportunity to use the pre-prepared theme given by DB, or I can design from the scratch from my end. It depends how we want to design our website. So it is so easy. If you know coding, definitely through manual coding, we can go and design a website. But some people who want to build up their website online and want to build it through their own wishes, you can, for easy and fast working, you can also use DV Builder layout, right? So this is how the normal layout is here. Now it will give me an opportunity to design the website. So this is how it's working. This three option will come. You can use the pre-made layout as I explained it earlier and then you can build it from scratch. So through the class, we will learn more in depth how you can go through your WordPress designing. And as I showed you earlier, this is how you can design. You, it can be a one page website. It should be responsive, what animations you can use and how beautiful you can design your website. After designing your website, marking a social media presence is also important. Social media turns out to be the right hand for digital marketing. Even from social media, you can bring a lot and lot of people to your website. As you can see, as we got into this website through email marketing, because email marketing is the professional way to reach out to people. Even social media marketing is one of the best way to reach out to people. With one single social media profile, you can have multiple business pages and your business page on Facebook will look something like this. Right. Even on social media, you can put advertisements. You must have seen many ads written sponsored. So when you find anything written sponsored here, can you see this sponsored? So you can see this sponsored here. When you find anything written sponsored, it means that that particular brand is running an advertisement online. See, I'm onto a social media platform. 
This is how your social media ads manager will look like whenever you want to design. You can get insights very well. How many people are clicking? How many ads are completed? What are the response? This is how you will get a report on your page, how your Facebook or a social media page is performing. And you get all the in-depth knowledge, right? I hope I'm clear. This is how you get an in-depth. This is how you get in-depth knowledge about the advertisement you are running online. As I was showing you the business page here, this is how the business page also looks like. Any time you can create. So how can you create a Facebook business page? You have your profile name here, and right beside your profile name, you have a menu button. You can click on the menu button. Get into the uh, right hand side corner blank here, column here, corner column here, which is written page. So if you want to create a business page, you can click create and have a business page. You should have a business name. That should be your company name. That will be your page name as well. Category of your business, description related to your business, a good logo and a cover picture very well written about a section because this will help you to mark the legal brand. You can bring in trust of people and it is one step ahead to get a blue tick as well, right? So in our death class with social media marketing, we'll learn more. What should be a business page? How or a basic setting should be given to a business page? How I'm going to see all the insights of the page. So I'm showing you the insight of the page. So here is the insight of the page. As you can see, it's loading and see. This is how you receive your data in a graphical way, in a very detailed manner. You can click anywhere, how many followers are increasing, how many ads are performing, all ads, which ads are performing very well, how much you have invested, how many people are engaging to your post, how many people are reaching out. As you can see, I have reached out to almost 6,574 people. So you can do that with a single click. You just need to mark the content quality has to be amazing, amazing content quality, amazing write up, no grammatical errors, no content problem. This will help us to have a very good advertisement because if the content is good, advertisement will always perform the best, best as the cheapest cost. As you can see, I have given ad just rupees 90 and I'm reaching out to almost 2,227 people. Even here, just an 80 rupees ad. So it's cost effective. As I mentioned earlier, it's cost effective on social media, even on Google AdWords. So whatever ad you can see on Google, you can put that ad with the help of Google AdWords. So by default, if we have a Gmail account, we all have access to Google Ads and Analytics account. Analytics is also giving me an option to reach out to any number of people and give me a measurement and analysis how my business is performing as you can see here ads written here so all these ads we will be learning how to develop an ad and design this ad from google adwords and coming back to analytics this is the analytics dashboard as analytics has upgraded itself we will be learning about ga4 analytics that is called as Google Analytics 4 with new properties, a new way of adding it to your website, and it will give us all the real time or acquired acquisition and study how my business page is actually performing. So it will mark all the conversions, all the way to reach out to our customer. So I hope I'm giving you the great insights about the visibility, bringing targeted traffic, engagement, getting like, comments, share, and getting an insight of it as I have showed you the uh, insight page where you get all the reports, conversions are happening or not conversions as in people are buying it or not people are clicking it onto it or not people are clicking it onto it or not measurements are happening so for that measurement as i have showed you we will be working with google analytics and this is how our reports will be on a real time basis on an analysis basis conversion is taking place this is how the analytics report are actually helping us to see how the conversion is performing, how many page visits we are getting, and we need to learn to retain our customers. See, as we talk about customers, customers are basically of two types, like 
visitors as well as the genuine customers. So visitors are ones who always do the window shopping, but they do take some kind of activity on our page. When we talk about our customers, our customers are differentiated in two forms, the vertical customers or horizontal customers. So who are vertical customers? Vertical customers are they who always buy the similar products or click onto the similar pages, for which we can have a very good understanding when we learn analytics in depth. Now, when we understand about horizontal, horizontal customers are those kind of customers who are ready to buy multiple products and services, who are ready to click onto any of the pages and explore our websites very well. And explore our websites very well. So these are the biggest advantages of digital marketing. Presentation of yourself online, reaching out to n number of people, increasing the brand awareness, the best way of content presentation, you can target your own customers. Suppose if I want to show my ads only in Kolkata, I can target while giving an ad, but these men, as I've just shown you right now, we don't have to pay unnecessarily. We only pay for the performance. It is cost effective. We will learn email marketing and social media marketing. So we are saving our cost on employers. And then affiliate marketing is one of the most important aspect right now in digital marketing. Many of them are turning out to be an influencer, a blogger, a affiliate marketer. Collaborations are happening. So if you want to be a collaborator and take your business online as a digital marketer and have a great career online, definitely you can learn digital marketing. For more information, please log into www.internetmarketingschool.co.in. Thank you so much.